Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Kay, the blue collar worker, back at it with a new video. Today's video is about tip baiting. I don't know if you ever heard that term before, tip baiting. That's when um, a customer promises to give a bigger tip than they would normally give just to get their food a little faster. And it seemed like a great idea, right? If you come out, bring my food faster than you would normally deliver it, you know, I'm going to take care of you. Now, me as a driver, if I was a, a driver, you know, I would probably say, well, that kind of makes sense. Sure, I'm going to hustle, right? Put the other customers on hold so I can get the bigger tip. All sounds good, right? You get him his food faster, he give you a bigger tip, everybody's happy, right? Except when you hustle to get a, that person their food and then they lowball you. Is that fair? You know, didn't you make a deal with the driver that you were going to take care of them? And then you lowball them, you know, and I guess the driver, for the most part, have to suck it up, right? Because he don't want to lose his job or, or go off on the person and say the wrong thing that can probably cost him his job. But I'm sure when he walk away from that door, he's feeling like, you know what? Because the customer promised one thing, and did another. And then I was reading on with this article. I'm, I'm not going to say the delivery uh, company's name, but I, think, I guess they charge $8, you know, just to deliver. And then uh, the customer has the right to increase the tip or lower the tip. And they can do it like anytime they want to. So, you know, I can put in whatever. And then when they come with the food, I lower it. You know, is that some low ball stuff to do to somebody? I mean, first of all, you know, if you if you're doing that, you know, depending on where you're doing it, at, it could be dangerous because you could get robbed. Secondly, you're using your own car, you pay insurance, repairs tire where you're doing all, and then you hustling you're hustling and then you know every penny count when you're out there because i was done i was a bartender i was a waiter and so i understand the way it works when somebody lowball you or don't tip you at all you know um uh, it can it can kind of bite because you're looking forward to that money and then it's like, you know, they pull a the rug from under your feet and then now it's on you. But here's the thing with that. And then we wonder why, you know, people in the delivery business do some of the gross things they do to us. You know, we do. And I'm not going to name all those gross things, but you get where I'm, where I'm going with this. And then what happens if, you need another delivery from that restaurant, right? And this time you really do need it. You might have a dinner party or you might have something going on and you really do need it. And then this person goes back and tell his uh, co-workers that, hey, don't mess with this person because all they're going to do is jab you around and screw you out your money. Or pick over your food or any thousands of things that you know, people can do to you. I know when I tip people, I generally rule of thumb, if the service is okay, I give you 15%. If the service is good, I give you 20%. You know, I mean, basically that's what I do. And most of the time, I try to do 20. I try to do 20. And I've seen times when I went out, people get up, eat the, uh, Waiter or waitress is hustling for them, and they get a dollar put on the table. You know, that's not cool. Because like I say, I was a waiter, and I was a bartender, and I know what it's like 
to uh, hustle for somebody and then they lowball you in the end. So um, is that practice cool? You know, I read uh, some comments. Some people were uh, with the people that uh, that lowball the driver. Then you got other people that was more sympathetic, you know. So uh, I think, you know, number one, if you're out there hustling, you know, delivering food, chances are you really need the money. You know, you wouldn't probably be doing it if you didn't need the money. And I don't know if these delivery services, you know, compensate you for your gas, because that's important, depending on where you uh, where you live at, how much is gas, you know? And then you're probably not telling your insurance company that you're out there hustling on the side, because if you did that, they're going to probably go up on your insurance and charge you at a commercial rate. So you're, so you're taking a chance there as a driver to, uh, to pretend that you're just going to and from work when really you're out there hustling food. And then, you know, you're trying to get it there immediately so you can, you know, uh, compensate for all the things that you got to come out of pocket with, you know, like the wear and tear on your car, your gas, the insurance, and, and whatever else you got to do. You know, but uh, I just thought I'd put that out there. It's called, uh, uh, what, is, what did I say it is? Bait tipping. When you promise one thing and you do another. So let me know what you think on that. Do you think that's cool to do to a driver? Somebody's out there legitimately trying to make a living for themselves? Or do you think that's cool to... Uh, jerk somebody around like that and put yourself in their shoes. Would you like it? That's all I have for you. Quick video. Uh, press like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to. This is Kay, the blue collar worker. Back at it with another video. Take care, guys. Have a great day.